Hey bros, how's it going? You find me down here. I'm currently down at the lava level. This is in uh, County Narlo. And uh, I've been collecting some resources because I'm currently working in my millinaire. And it's taking an awful lot of coal. I just cooked up um, close to, I guess, 300 smooth stone for them. And now they've got me collecting around 500. Uh, so I was waiting on oh, and some more iron. Now they got me collecting about 500 um, cobblestone for them as well. They continue. Seems like they're Please. pretty well stuck at the moment, working on the uh, the town hall. So let me get my little piece of cobble uh, gravel there. I like throwing it down so that nothing can come up this way. Uh, I have a lot of mobs down here. You even lit up as much as I've been lighting it up. As you see here, I'm trying to, unlike the, unlike my uh, Adventures of Narlo. Ooh, is that a? Uh, it's a creeper. For some reason, I was thinking there was a slime way up here. I see a creeper over here. Even lit up as well as I have it. Um, and I like keeping my mines in County Marlo, County Narlow pretty well lit up. Um, I'm still running into uh, a good deal of mobs in this level. So, anyway, you see this. I've got a pretty extensive mine going on down here. This is kind of my cobble quarry here. And I'll be cleaning it out even further. Anything in the furnace right now? No, okay, here's some more cobble. I knew I had to have some somewhere down here. And we'll go up and sell that to the lady. Anyway, what I was going to say is I have... Alright, you see, this right here is one of the issues I've been running into. I have gotten uh, upgraded to 1.73. Um, most of my mods are back. Um... I do not currently have more creeps and weirdos because it is reliant upon achievement pages by Shaka. And uh, because of that, achievement pages has not been updated yet. Now, if you go to the uh, more creeps and weirdos, or freak, yeah, more creeps and weirdos uh, webpage or, or forum thread. Um, he will give you a link to, it's called the Shaka API, and it is in that, but the Shaka API is, see, I need 528 cobblestone for them to work on the manor here. And there's how my village is looking. What the devil? Okay. But they need uh, this to work on the manor. Let me sell that back to her right quick. Okay. We'll just start selling that cobblestone. I got a lot of it to sell. There. Let's see, how much did we get? We're about halfway there. 219 is how much I sold back to him. That piece in her hand is one of the new um, timber blocks. They have a carpenter in Millionaire now who builds timber blocks. And as you see over here at this uh, farmhouse, and there's one over here that you see it at as well. They, you know, so many of these buildings start with plank and dirt, and then they go to plank fully, and then they go to plank and cobblestone. And now they seem to have a last... Ooh, and they're doing it to the Merchant's Hall over here, too. They seem to have a last um, stage, a final stage, where they use the timber. And it's kind of a... Uh, oh, what do they call it? Something in daub construction. Timber and daub construction? We have the timbers and kind of the plaster... Um, you have the, the timber frame with kind of the plaster panels in between it, giving you that, uh,
giving you that construction. And I think it looks very nice. Like I said, right now they are working on the uh, city hall. You see, it started out as dirt and plank, and then it went to plank only, and then it went to plank and cobblestone, then it went to cobblestone only, and then I gave them the five, the uh, 250 smooth stone, and they've made it smooth stone. Now they're asking for another five cobblestone, and they're going to convert it over to, um, I guess, either I guess they're going to build an extension to it or something in cobblestone, because I can't imagine them having the entire thing in cobblestone then moving it to smooth stone then moving it back to cobblestone again now this is one of the weirdnesses I wanted to show you um, when I started millionaire back up after I put all the additions into 173 here opened up and I had all these gold coins um, and a cider apple there you go and the cider apple here that's the other thing now having known what I was actually carrying at the time apparently he changed his ID numbers so if you run a millionaire you'll want to check on it um, all the copper coins have turned into gold coins and all the silver coins have turned into cider apples um, the ones that you had in your inventory like I said the ones that you get right here for selling them stuff they had they they give you the proper coins currently while you're selling but anything that was in your inventory turns into weird stuff like this so that's why it's one of the many reasons I run too many items because that way I can come in here and while the unexpected little windfall here it looks like a tax looks like I got a uh, tax bonus back while it's nice um, I do like keeping things legit here so all right, let's see. I need to get... Okay, that was 34, so that's going to be 64 and 64. So I need a full stack of the regular copper coins. Oh, come on. Learn how to click the correct way. There we go. So I will throw these out now. That's 30, that's 65, it was 64 until I clicked wrong. So that's one stack of coins. And then this 64 gold will go away. And 64 copper. And now I need 19 of the silver coins. So let's get a stack of those. There we go. And, ooh. How much is that? Okay, well it's going to be that minus, um... Oh no, I'm going to have to look at the thing and figure out how much it was. Go back and look at the film again. But here's the 19 that I need to replace the cider apples, which I will now trash. Alright, it's a lot easier when you don't have any of these actual coins in your inventory at time if you remember to actually put them up here so that you know exactly how many you're needing. So I'll have to figure out how many of these I need to throw away. Um, the other weirdness that happened is down here I had a golden shovel and I have never made anything above a stone shovel in my life. Um, so something changed with an ID number with a golden sword and uh, turned it into a shovel. So I threw the shovel away and put the sword back in here. Which of course I carry around to uh, fight off werewolves whenever they come across, whenever I come across them. So... What I'm going to do now, it's about midnight, I'm going to do some more uh, cobblestone mining, wait for the sun to rise, and then I'll show you a couple more things upstairs. Alrighty, I've got my silver coins scattered out. It was another 17, which if I'd been thinking would have been duh, because I threw in a, a stack of 64, and 17 of the pop down here, so that means obviously there had already been 17 in my inventory. So, I saved another 17 silver and threw away the rest of the 64. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna get back to making iron ingots and cobblestone. And when the night is over, I will take you back upstairs and we will take a look at a couple of the other things up there.
All right, we're headed back to the surface. Yeah, I didn't happen to mention, but you'll probably notice my newest mine here is it actually up underneath the village. Um, originally, there was this cave right here. It was a very shallow one. It went down this far, and I figured, well, they need so many resources, let's just start digging down from it. So I expanded it into an actual mine and that's where I've been mining my resources while I'm over here at this side of the town. It's still more convenient even as close as the pit mine is. This is more convenient and in fact I am 100% certain will eventually connect to the pit mine. But uh, I've got a little more cobble. For that I want to show you I've got the skull down here. I am still running Z's hunger mod um, because of problems with running out of block IDs and item IDs, I am no longer running the cooking and uh, farming mods from him at the moment. But whereas he used to have food, um, he used to the hunger mod used to just be about food, and you would have uh, a hunger bar that went across. You know, it was icons then, and you can still have the icons. But he had the hunger bar that went across. Now you can have the colored bars, which I do like better. And the green is for food. The blue is for thirst. And to quench your thirst, you have to squat down in water like this. It represents you kneeling down to drink. And then, of course, to heal your hunger, you simply take food, get it on your bar down here, eat the food, and as you eat the food, it decreases the green bar, which let me get it off the grass, and you see the green bar going down. He's got a fatigue bar as well, um, which was running. I didn't realize I didn't realize I had had it shut off. Um, I must have. The fatigue bar needs some work. I mean, in just in a minute of mining, you have driven your fatigue bar all the way over to the right and can't mine anymore and have to either go to sleep or something else. So it's the settings he uses for it really do need um, some work on them. All right, we've got some people moving in here. Valborg and Carl Diedrich. Looks like they've got a pair of toe-headed little boys, twin boys. Uh, congratulations, sir. Good job, Carl. Let's go in, um, sell the cobblestone to the town, and see how much more they need. Looks like about 308, so they can continue working on the thing here. We'll give them close to 50. All right, 48 to be exact. There we go. And I'll need to collect a few more resources, about 268 more. All right, if, if I could find the mayor, I would uh, see where my standing was. I was favored visitor the last time I uh, the last time I checked, and they would actually sell me. Oh, as you see here, Doctor Zark and his Mo creatures now has kitty cats in it, which I haven't done any kind of taming of. Um, I, there's plenty of videos out there. Yogg's Cast has got a video where you make kitty beds and uh, kitty litter boxes and that kind of stuff. There are also mice in the game, and there are rats now. And he even has, if you go to the nether, which I have not been yet, he even has um, hell rats in the nether. So he has finally actually added a new specific um, creature for the nether. Ooh, horses. Sorry. Don't mean to get distracted, but I need to go check right quick and make sure there isn't a pegasus over here. I'm still wanting to get my hands on one of those. That's one reason why you see I always carry a saddle and I always carry a bunch of wheat and bread with me at the moment. It's because I've taken a vow I am not going to get caught flat-footed out in the uh, wild without stuff to hunt down a pegasus. I have seen one now four different times in my various games and every single time I had no resources on me whatsoever. 
to try and capture one. All right, another little baby horse. All right, so nothing here. All right, I'm going to track down the mayor, and when I find him, we will come back to uh, talking to you again. All right, and I have found Onswald, the Seneschal. He's out here patrolling like he always does, um, looking for bad guys to kill. I know there's a small little cave over here, which we get a lot of zombies and stuff in. Let's talk to him right quick. You right-click on him, make sure you're not holding a bow. And as you see, I'm still favorite trader. Ah, Narlo, all the village was waiting for your return. I can now buy the small terrain, which would be the little farm. I can buy the small um, house. And of course, I've still got far too little money for each of those. Um, and I'm still not high enough to buy village scrolls, and that is strange. Because I thought that... Uh, my brother who plays Dwindon 30, uh, he was thinking that he was, his reputation got up so he could buy the scrolls first before he could buy land and all, but apparently not. We'll just keep an eye on that and see how it goes. So, after I sell them another 300 and something um, cobblestone, we'll see how the, uh, how my reputation rises. Uh, a little fishy in the water. That one actually does not look like a piranha. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I was going to promise or mention that I would show this in the last one. I'm going to wait for night to fall, which isn't going to be too much longer. And when that happens, I will um, be back and show you all something off the coast over here. What are you doing over here, friend? Ooh. This must be where y'all come and mine y'all's cobblestone. Nice cave. Please. Please. Getting better at the rapid fire. Uh, are you a? Yes, you Please. are. You're a werewolf. Ain't doing this, pal. But I do not need you around. Looks like there was a creeper in here too. Alrighty, I'm gonna need to get in here and light this place up quite a bit. darkness up there too. Uh, got some coal there. Good. Iron in the wall. Got another place that I need to come and start uh, working on to work on my cobble mine. Alright, we got more stuff down there too, but that's pretty safe. I don't think anything can get up that way. And there's my phone, and it's turning night. So, I will, uh, be back in just a few. All right, phone call's taken care of, and as you see, night falling, all the villagers moving to their various abodes to tuck in for the evening. Um, I have set it on peaceful, because, uh, I don't want to be disturbed by ogres and zombies and all while I'm filming this little section here. I'm also going to go into cheat mode. I'm going to turn flying on. And come over here. <clears throat> like I said, I mentioned I would, uh, in one of my last videos, I would show this. Over here is my first coral reef. This is the Nandonauts Coral Reef mod. And, uh,. There we go. Isn't that an impressive sight down in the water? Very pretty. He has various types of coral reefs. Some of them glow. And that gives the uh, wonderful appearance here. We can swim along down here in the coral reefs. Very, very pretty. 
Now, I like my water to look a little bit more like what I'm used to seeing water. I don't Ooh. live... Oops. I don't actually live in the Caribbean, so... Uh, yeah, you know, my water has a little bit of uh, substance to it, so this actually looks a lot more clear than any uh, lakes or water surfaces that I'm used to. But uh, I know there's a good number of people who like the uh, crystal clear water mods because it allows you to uh, look around, you know, a further distance, and you can dig up all these blocks and take them home and insert them to like aquariums and stuff there just like any other uh, block out there they can be used in building and they are quite pretty and like I said many of them like these can be used as light sources so this is the coral reef mod and I actually have it set for I think large so uh, large reef so that's why you see it going out it looks like it's generating another one right over here so finally now with uh, Dr. Zark having put in fish and uh, Dr. Zark having put in fish and sharks and uh, dolphins and the piranha and now with the coral mods here you actually have something to do up underneath the water rather than uh, to just look at it. Alright so there you go and there's the other if you look at the bottom bar there Right above my heart, you'll see that I am actually showing the signs of a bit of fatigue now. So that's what that little brown bar is. Um, you tend to build up quite a bit of fatigue whenever you're uh, swimming. It checks like every couple of seconds as you're doing stuff. And as you see, we're swimming along and the bar is climbing. See how high it's gotten so far. I think it checks every three seconds, if I remember right. All of them are can be configured in the uh, the uh, hunger.ini file. So, all right. Anyway, that's my update so far. It has definitely gone on a bit longer than I was expecting it to. Let us get back up here on here. I'm going to squat for a second and drink there now all I gotta do is eat something and get rid of where my hunger bar is I have adjusted it so that these bars will pretty much fill up from empty all the way over to the right and the little skull will appear over about a 10 minute period so from sunrise to sunset you have to eat in order to uh, you have to eat like three times in my case Three, lo uh, three loaves of bread, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and that keeps your bar down to zero. Um, if you don't eat during the day, 10-minute day, um, the bar goes all the way to the right and the skull appears. Then over the next 10 minutes, um, your hearts will begin decreasing down to zero, and you'll eventually die of starvation or thirst. Now, the way he has it set... Um, if you use the hunger mod you definitely want to play around with what settings because the default settings in the game literally you will start starving to death in about two minutes and in about another two minutes you will die and that just for myself personally hello don't mind the voyeur just taking a look um, I personally don't like having to eat that often and that much. So, uh, yeah, definitely check the settings. And that's it. Like I said, my update here has gone on quite a bit longer than I was expecting it to. Oh, great. Nice. They've turned the, uh, the inn up there into the uh, timber frame as well. Very nice. It's starting to look like a proper European village here with a little... Uh, Oh, timber frame homes and all. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, like I said, I've got a couple more, just a couple more um, mods I want to get installed. And once I do, I will have another uh, episode of Narlo up tonight. And I'm planning on getting an Ultima Underworld and probably even a Lord of the Rings up tonight, too. I've been... Uh, I'm having a long week at work and really looking forward to getting some heavy playing in tonight. 
So thanks for watching once again. Didn't mean for it to be as long-winded as it is, but uh, thank you very much, and we will talk to you again later.